first of all, uh, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, this is, uh, I have been doing during my PhD. I've been studying thermodynamic formalism on generalized quantum Markov shifts. So let's get started. This uh, talk ha has uh, four main parts. The first two ones are more introductory about what, what are, uh, are the main definitions and everything I've been using. And uh, the main results are the third and fourth part of this, this talk. So first let's talk uh, briefly about Markov shift space. And this is actually the, the standard definition you have uh, an alphabet and a transitive uh, matrix, which allows transitions between the, the letters. And, and <clears throat> you have a shift map, uh, which basically cuts the first uh, entry. And the, the admissible words would be finite words, which the matrix allows it. And the, this topology is the product topology. So it's generated by cylinder sets. And th these are uh, the main examples, I believe, in the, in the theory. Uh, in particular, the Renault shift would be a, a, a crucial role in the, in the stalk. And this is the symbolic graph allowed by the the matrix entries. If it's one, you, you allow to, try to to change. If it's if it's zero, you cannot do that. And uh, for the whole talk, the we'll be assuming that the matrix is transitive. And there are some, some topological facts here. And the first, uh, if the alphabet is finite, so we have a compact uh, shift space. If it's not, but it's still, we have the uh, row finite matrix. Uh, it's not compact, but at least it is locally compact. And in the most general case, uh, we don't have even locally compact uh, when it's not row finite. This is important thing because um, this, um, the, the, the main thing here is it's, it's quite difficult to, to use a topologically measured theory uh, results here since you don't have a, a locally compact space. However, uh, the generalized Markov shift space, uh, you can do that because it's uh, all, all, always uh, at least locally compact. So, oh, sorry. Um, so now uh, a brief. Uh, Brief explanation about the Kuntz-Kruger algebras and XLR algebras. So, um, uh, Kuntz-Kruger algebra it's basically um, a universal algebra generated by partial isometries, which satisfies this relation here. And um, also, uh, it, this is, encodes Markov shift space in the sense for transitive matrix. Uh, the, if you if you take um, admissible, uh, uh, take a finite word, uh, you can uh, write this um, this operator as as um, a product of each word. If you define this way, this is non-zero if and only if the the words admissible. And the projections actually uh, they, they 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 create. Uh, very important uh, commutative sub algebra, which is the in the comp this is a compact case. So, uh, the, uh, this uh, sub algebra it is the continuous functions on the, the Markov shift, and uh, XA it, it plays uh, the, the point of uh, the defining the generalized one is to uh, realize this as uh, also uh, as a uh, continuous functions on this new space or at least continuous functions, um, which vanishes at infinity. So a brief uh, circle remarks here. Um, actually, the, 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 the first case, it was uh, for the full shift matrix, divided by 77 made by Kuntz. It's, it, it, these are the Kuntz algebras. Later in the 80s, uh, Kuntz and Kruger generalized this for um, 
a, a, a more general transition matrix. Um, and later, uh, for the, um, the locally compact case, Kumjian, Pask, Henry, Bernie, and Henault, they, uh, by using the group part sister algebras, could uh, go even further in the theory for a locally compact case. And the main, main, the main papers, which is this work is based, it's in the Exalaka algebras, which is the most general case, and the paper from Jean Renaud, uh, which uh, consists in the group point approach for these sister algebras, the XLK algebras. And now we, we define what it, it is um, XLK algebras. Uh, first, uh, to, to introduce them, I introduce a universal unit of sister algebra OA tilde, which is generated, generated by this uh, family of pressure isometries. And they satisfy these four relations. These uh, three first actually are pretty common and it, it also happens for the Kuntz-Krieger uh, algebras. But the new, the new thing here is uh, a condition to deal with the summation in conditions without have problems in the convergence of the, these operators. Um, and uh, the, the XALC algebra is the sister subalgebra generated by this, this family of pressure isometries. Uh, first, first, first information, they, they must coincide. If they don't coincide, so necessarily the OA tilde, it's the canonical unitization of this algebra. And uh, for the finite case, it, it, this recovers the, the Kuntz-Kriger algebras. You can recover the, the conditions for, for the relations for the universal algebra. And from now on, we'll be dealing with the alphabet N. And uh, the codification of the shift space is still valid in, the, in, this, in the setting and in the, sen the same sense I, as I presented before. So now uh, uh, I present you um, a more concrete way to, to work with this, these objects by taking a faithful representation in the bounded operates of uh, L2 on sigma A. So basically the projection, the, the partial isometers here, uh, they can be seen uh, when you take the canonical basis, basically the following. Uh, if, you, if you are allowed to introduce uh, a new symbol before the, the X, you, you simply do that. And if, if, not, if you cannot do that, if the matrix do, the, does not allow that, just put zero in the, um, and that joint operator is basically shifts the, this index when, when X uh, belongs to the cylinder S, otherwise it's zero. So the first result here, that's actually the sister algebra generator by this, uh, this, these operators uh, are isomorphic respectively to the uh, OA and OA tilde when we include the, the, um, the unit here. And more than that, uh, if you define the, 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 these pro projections uh, QI, um, you can write in the even more, um, more simple uh, way to explain uh, what is OA and OA to the, basically it is the span of uh, these two spaces. The difference here is basically uh, when, you, when you write uh, empty, it is it just we are omitting the, the operators here. So here, if you omit the three of them, you have the, the unity. If not, you have this other, this, the remaining algebra. In particular, uh, there's a, commit, a, a sister sub algebra here, which is made of diagonal operators when you forces uh, the two words here being equal. In, in particular, you do this for uh, both OA and OA tilde. And this is 
when uh, the generalized Markov sheets uh, are, are born. Uh, we will see further this in the next slides. But before that, uh, if you construct a, a partial uh, representation uh, based on the free, free group, that is, have the application for the free group to OA tilde, which uh, maps uh, each symbol, um, each letter to the, the respective operator and the inverse to the adjoint operator. Uh, and for reduced words, you basically uh, put it um, just to position it and uh, set that for the identity of this group being one, you may consider the, these projections, uh, which are pairwise commuting. And in, in the end, you have um, this isomorphism between uh, DA tilde and uh, the sister algebra generated by these projections. And the Markov shift space in the generalized way, it is a spectrum of this, uh, these two algebras. Mostly here, we'll be dealing with the, without the tilde. And uh, this is now with a uh, with star topology. Some facts here, as I told before, um, the, the, this set is always locally compact and XA tilde is always compact. Actually, in many cases, even if the, if the shift space, the standard one, if it's not even locally compact, you can have compact XA. And they when they do not coincide, uh, the difference between them is basically the compactification point, which assigns uh, like it is in the, in the screen. And it's a sufficient condition here to make them equal uh, when A has a full row of ones. For example, if J is the symbol, symbol which satisfies this property, uh, you write key, key J here, and this is, it, this is the, the unity. So the algebra is unit and the algebra coincides and the, everything coincides. Uh, <clears throat> now, we, uh, I explained briefly some relations between the sigma A and XA. The first one, um, since I told you it, it was uh, DA, it was an algebra of diagonal operator, we may consider the evaluation maps. And this inclusion is continuous and preserves the borrow uh, structure of sigma A as a sub sigma algebra. And more than that, uh, we also can see in a more um, we can see these actually are uh, as drawings uh, because it, it, you can see since the, the these projections uh, they generate the whole algebra. It's sufficient to evaluate uh, the, the elements of the spectrum uh, on these elements. So we have configurations in the Cayley tree, and in particular, um, sigma A is a dense subset of this uh, of X A. And when sigma A is locally compact, this collapses to the previous, previous theory. So XA it's equals to sigma A. In particular, when it's complement, it's not empty. Uh, the complement is also dense uh, in this space. And uh, this is maybe I, I should draw this. You can see, actually, the point here is that you can define, uh, you can set the, the XA as the closure of sigma A inside this set, which is a compact subset of o, OA power F. So th this is the, the, the actually it's, it's straightforward to, to explain, but um, there are, uh, these two rules uh, are very important. Uh, I will draw this, uh, maybe the next here. Um, Okay, uh, this, uh, when you see the configurations on the KD tree, we will be saying that a configuration is filled when it's, uh, it's the, the projection here uh, is one and it will be represented by white dots. Uh, so basically th th this, this figure shows that, uh, that uh, a case where G is filled, G and GA is, is also filled. Uh, this is, represents the last rule uh, when you have 
this is how the, the, the transition matrix actually works in this, in, the, in this space. So if you have two filled words, omega and omega y, to decide uh, if um, omega x um, power minus one is also filled, you, you must see if the matrix always the transitions between these two edges, otherwise it's not. It, and the third rule maybe I will draw here. Um, okay, uh, the, 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 the third rule basically determines if you cannot have something like this. This is filled, this is filled, this is the orientation of the Cayley tree. And uh, you cannot have this. You, you, you can have this. This is the, the thing. You, it, there, there is a main river uh, in the, the character of the words, positive words. So you can go even further. It may be finite, this path. However, it, it, you, you'll never be uh, a branching point like this. Oops. Okay. So uh, there, there's another way to, to characterize these elements, uh, which is by considering the stems and roots. So what is a stem and a root here for this talk? Uh, it'll be basically this. Uh, in, in general, the configurations can be, uh, are in this way. Um, this is the, the identity of the group. So it, it, we have filling configurations before, and this is the orientation of the Cayley tree by the multiplication. And we can have something like this. So the point is, uh, this stem, it is, corresponds to this word, the, the, uh, in the finite case, YA, it is the, the longest word, which every sub word, positive word, uh, that, that means if this is omega, this is the, the positive cone. And this, um, it, 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 this is the, the, the largest word, which uh, every sub word is also filled. Uh, so omega one, omega one, omega two, and etc. And if it's, it's if it is an element of SNA, this is infinite. So you you have this is a, and you have forever uh, uh, the next word. So this this is what do we call it by stem, and the root is the it's basically the set of edges right before uh, when you are in the epsilon A, the only case we consider is right, uh, right before you achieve the stem. <laughs> this is the root. Okay. And we have bijections here. Uh, for example, uh, the, the stem determines uniquely the, the elements of X sigma A and the pair stem and root uh, determines uniquely an element of YA. Okay. Whoops. And since I told you uh, sigma A is dense here, uh, how, how, how do you create uh, elements in YA? Basically, uh, you can take, uh, for example, uh, Oops. Suppose this is a, a, is a, a configuration, and you have an infinite, uh, infinite path here uh, from from this this point, and you take a sequence um, for for every in every case which is different for, for different uh, next symbols, and of course here we are assuming that uh, to in order to take a sequence in, in sigma a. You must have that omega uh, ends in the infinite meter, so you can take different elements. So uh, for every next uh, step in the tree, 
uh, this uh, in this case it appears once filled and then it's never it's filled anymore and the same for the remaining ones so basically this evaporates and remains only as a stem the the word omega for the renew shift space um, this is the symbolic graph as I told you. In this case, uh, OA is unital, XA is compact. The infinity meter in this case is one. So you have uh, every element in YA, or it has, uh, it, it, it ends in, um, in the word uh, ending by one, or it is uh, empty stem. I represent it's an X actually. And to determine which is the, the root in this case, you take the, it must be a limit point of seconds of the space of columns of the, of the transition matrix. This maybe it is more, more easy to explain. So for the renewal shift, if you take that limit uh, in the first coordinate, for example, uh, any, any element of or sigma a, which is the first, two, first element of six starts with one, second one, the first uh, fillet, fillet positive configuration is two, and go on. You have uh, the limit uh, to the empty state configuration, and you can um, develop the tree by the fourth rule, like this. So now uh, I I, I talk about the generalized thermodynamic formalism. Um, okay. So uh, we have four main definitions here about the measures which are important for us. First one is the, the conformal measure in the sense of Denker Urbanski, where we have uh, the measure space and uh, the measurable endomorphism. For us, a uh, special set, it's any Burrow set such that the restriction of the shift is injected. And D is a measurable function, positive. In our, our case, the, 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 the setting for us, it's the exponential of beta times the potential, which determines the model. And uh, Denker, uh, measuring the sense uh, of denker Bransky, we say this is uh, a deconformal measure if it satisfies the equation one for every special set. So in the sense of Sarig, we have uh, a space which is locally compact. Uh, this is actually a pretty standard uh, condition in the topology and you have a local homeomorphism. Um, you may define uh, a measure which uh, which for every uh, Borel subset, you decompose it into, into EI, which each one, when you restrict to the shift, to the, in the shift, it is an injected map. And uh, conform, uh, beta F lambda conformal measure is uh, a measure such that there exists the Radonic Euclidean derivative, and more than that, uh, its volume is uh, lambda e minus beta f almost everywhere. And also, uh, we generalize the, the notion of real transformation. In the same topology uh, setting, we have uh, you, can, you take a potential here and a volume of temperature. Uh, inverse of the temperature and the uh, real transformation is basically this map from the com uh, compactly supported functions on U to the com so compactly supported functions on X and it's defined as it is in the, in the, in the screen. So next, uh, since we are talking about the, the real transformation, we are interested to talk, uh, uh, talk about the eigenmeasures of this transformation. Uh, in this case, uh, for the, the standard measure setting, uh, the an eigen measure, it's uh, a measure uh, which is a measure which uh, satisfies this, the, the, this uh, integral equation. Uh, and we will be using the same notation as um, the, um, the case in the, the analysis. And 
in order to introduce the, the remaining measures, uh, which are the crazy variant measures, I, I have to talk about uh, briefly, some, somebody speaking? No, okay. Um, uh, about, uh, uh, I, I have to, to introduce this in the terms, this is uh, defined in terms of groupoids. So have a, a locally compact, so the countable groupoid, which is a tall. This is the, the, the main thing here in this talk. Uh, consider the counting measures with defines a, a, a left har system. This G power X, it's the pre-image of the range map on X. And for the source map, we have uh, also uh, counting measures um, indexed by the, um, the, the set of units of the groupoid. And we have a continuous cycle, which is a continuous function from the groupoid to the real numbers which satisfies this equation for every composable part. And we consider a random measure on the Bora uh, algebra, sigma algebra on G0. And we define these two right and left uh, range and source uh, measures. And for us, uh, E power minus beta C quasi invariant measure is a measure that not only these two measures are equivalent, but this is the um, the Hadon Nicodine derivative. And um, this is the, the Renault Dacon generalized groupoid. It is generalized in the sense that uh, the, the, the map, shift map, is not defined in the, the, whole, uh, the whole space. You see, uh, XA. Um, it, when you translate the shift map, it basically, uh, uh, in terms of configurations in the K tree, it's basically we are translating um, <clears throat> the configurations. And if you, since you, you must have all the time that the identity element must be filled for for configurations such that uh, just a second, okay, configurations such that um, the stem is zero, that is only fitted in the A, uh, you cannot shift this. So, because you jump off the space. And this is a pretty standard uh, definition for, the, for this group point. And, and uh, the most important thing uh, the, here is the, this isometry, uh, isomorphism between the OA and uh, the sister algebra generated by the group point. Okay, um, in this model, uh, we, for us, the, the one cycle will be uh, this function, uh, you can see in yellow, uh, which, which relates to the potential. And uh, the dynamics here uh, is, uh, in order, we want to also talk about the KMS states. The, the, one, uh, the, the one group of uh, parameter group here is the um, taken by for every um, uh, compactly support function, continuous function on J, uh, we have uh, this setting. And since the, the, this is actually a dense subset of the, the sister algebra, and it, this we can extend to the whole algebra. So it, it's well defined. Uh, this uh, equation five uh, shows uh, examples of KMS states when you have uh, me, uh, E minus beta CF quasi variant um, measure. However, when the groupoid's principle, uh, that is, it coincides with the isotropy groupoid, uh, for example, when the potential is always positive or, or always negative, uh, this is states that they are not only the key MS state, but they are the unique key MS states in the theory. The first thing we did uh, in this work, it was um, to, to relate uh, each one of these uh, notions of measures. Uh, I, actually, the, the notion of Dinker Blansky, uh, Eigen measure, and uh, confirming census are is something which uh, is already studied in the standard Markov sheets. So this is extended in the uh, in the general generalized sense. 
here the the eigenvalue is, is one. And this is the first result about the phase transitions. Uh, when you have uh, the renewal shift, we have uh, this is a important thing. Uh, when you take, uh, I should talk this previously actually. Uh, when you take the the there is a unique empty stain configuration in the renewal shift, and if you take the pre images of this configuration, you recovers the the whole set Y A. Uh, so in this case, what I have here is the, the, uh, when you when you buy the, the formality equations, you can uh, state the equations for the for measures which uh, live in the YA set and gives mass zero to the standard Markov shift. This is this is the, the main uh, thing here. Uh, we have uh, conditions for the potential uh, which. Uh, for be that greater enough, we have a unique conformal measure living in YA, and for be that small, small enough, there are no of these new conformal measures. So uh, uh, the, 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 the next picture, ah, no, okay. First, uh, in particular, if you take for a constant potential equals to one, the beta critic can be calculated explicitly and more than that, the, this, um, these measures, when you take the, the, the limit from greater beta to B, the critical value of beta, you have the weak star convergence for, uh, on the standard measure um, for sigma A. So basically, the, the, the measures change in the space they are living. The, this measure is well known from the standard theory, actually. What I mean is this, uh, uh, when, before, uh, without using the XA, XA set, we only can uh, see the existence of a unique uh, value of beta, which uh, there is a uh, conformal measure in uh, any other value, you don't have this. But if you consider that instead of sigma A, you consider the XA set, you have a lot of measures for greater beta. And in particular, these measures are, are quasi-variant measures. So these are KMS states. And so you have a unique KMS state for each uh, value, value of uh, inverse of temperature for, for beta greater than log two. Uh, the purpose to talking about uh, how to generate uh, the remaining elements of uh, the, actually the, the from the, the empty stand configuration you generate the rest of the elements of YA is because uh, you can uh, determine uh, identify the extremal measures in space. For a general case, you may define uh, this set uh, which we call YA family basically by taking the pre image of the, the configuration and take the, uh, for every n. And the, in this case, the, the configurations, uh, each configuration inside uh, YA family has, uh, there is a unique configuration with that, with, uh, the, with that stem. And these families actually are a partition of YA. I mean, there's actually two of them, it's empty and if you unite everyone, uh, it is the whole space. So we may, we may set the air being the set of stems inside of each uh, for a fixed YA family, and C omega will be the, the probability on the space. And for a potential given, we can uh, rewrite the conformal condition from Baker Rubansky as this one we can see here. And in the end, we, we, we simply impose the probability condition in order to determine all the probabilities in this setting. Uh, in particular, we have this theorem that, uh, that it's not only at most uh, uh, one conformal probability living in a YA family, but uh, when, when it, it exists, it's extremal measure. 
And for this is uh, a more interesting example uh, because we have no more than one um, empty stem, so you have more than one um, conformal measure. If you take the pair renew shift, this uh, basically you take the renew shift and add add as a new infinite emitter being the symbol two. So we have uh, here uh, YA has configurations with empty stems, words ending in one and words ending in two. And these are the two uh, empty stem families, the unique empty stem families in the setting. I, 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 I have to emphasize here that uh, when you, this, from this part in terms of, uh, of tree, it's, uh, it's the same thing as this one. That is the difference is just uh, this lag between the, these two configurations. And the net phase transistor result here is similar to the previous one, but with the difference that we have instead of one extremal conformal measure, actually the unique conformal measure in that case for the renew shift, for the pair renew shift, we had two extremal conformal measures for a big, uh, big, big enough, and you have the absence of these new measures for in living on YA for beta is small enough. I, I will present a, a sketch of the proof of this result. So basically, you have these two families. So if you count how many how many configurations here of uh, stem of length n for some n, you also can count here. So uh, this is the, the, the this is why I ask your attention in, in, in fact. And uh, we have the, uh, I call this one uh, C01 and this C02. And uh, the respective STEM sets uh, are R1, R2. So basically for each YA family, we can see these as, as, as finite, finite words. And by a counting argument, you can determine which are, uh, how, many, how many of these configurations uh, of, of length n uh, we have for each uh, YA family. And by imposing the, the conformality condition and the, prob the prob probability condition, we, uh, we have this series, which can be controlled by, uh, by above and by below. Since uh, here, when we are summing here, this is uh, the, the, the number of elements, so it just, uh, these are just two bounds for the series, for another series. Um, if you take the, if make the ratio test for B the uh, greater than log of one plus uh, square root of two over inf infimum of F, you have the convergence of the, this measure of the, sorry, sorry, this series. So this series converges. And in the remaining case of the statement of the theorem, this, the, the lower bound diverges. So you can determine, this, this are basically the statement of the theorem on the existence. Further, if uh, the potential is constant equals to one, uh, you, you, you can again, to determine which is the critical value with the, the phase transition actually occurs. Uh, for example, if you take, uh, th this is the, the critical value and these are the, the conditions basically which are from the last theorem. So if beta is greater than critical value of beta, we have the two extremal conformal measures. So we have uh, uh, infinity uh, uh, uncountable conformal measures in general because every convex combination is also a conformal measure. For exactly at the, the critical value, you have a unique, which is the, the one living on uh, sigma A. And after the remaining case, you have not uh, conformal measures at all. More than that, um, the whole set of conformal measures for B the greater than the critical value collapses to this uh, measure at the critical value when you take a limit.
the, this uh, this scheme is basically uh, again a comparison between the, what what we have pre previously without the XA set and what we have after that. And uh, for sigma a only, we cannot uh, determine the existence of uh, a measure living exactly at the critical vol. And in for when you, you instead of that, when you study the XA set. You have a lot more measures uh, after the critical vol. Uh, all of these measures are, are, are living in the YA set. And the, the, you, see, you see, this is, makes the theory actually more rich because you can determine more, more, more KMS states in the end. And <clears throat> again, the proof. Uh, so uh, about the existence, uh, I don't take, I don't have to take uh, to talk much more because it's basically applied the previous theorem, and in particular for the sigma a, uh, we can uh, impose the denker urbanski conformality condition on the cylinders of uh, sigma a, and when you you try to evaluate that, you find that B, the, this critical value is the unique value that this measure is a probability. <clears throat> and for the weak convergence, this uh, <clears throat> we identify it uh, in the very general way. Actually, this is beyond the the renew the pair renew shift. We identify the what what are the typical elements of the basis of the um, of XA. So uh, th this is uh, what what we call the generalized cylinders. And in, in the case of the, the renew shift and the, the, the pair renew shift, uh, every basic set is, uh, we can have a base which every basic set is basically uh, a finite subset of a YA and, uh, and a countable union of cylinders. And we use some um, standard arguments in, of, in measure theory and uh, weak star uh, topology. We, since in this case the, the topology is metrizable, you can prove that uh, the measure converts in for each uh, to, for each um, each extremal measure converts to the mi uh, beta critical, and therefore the whole set collapses. This, this is what happens in, in the end. And um, this is actually uh, an interesting example uh, where you have uh, a, a infinitely many uh, uh, probabilities. Uh, this is the prime renew shift. So the matrix uh, allows uh, you take the renew shift and put uh, take the prime numbers and the potencies uh, of the prime numbers and make it this this uh, transition be 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 able to happen. So th this is the uh, this is a case of uh, although it is uh, infinite many, it's a countable countable set of external measures. In the end, uh, um, we tried also to study the case for um, uh, eigen measures. So when you take uh, it's one of the main uh, questions in in the symbolic dynamics to determine uh, the um, the eigen measures for any uh, any eigen vol. So we have some uh, under some conditions uh, of recurrence. Sarik proved uh, that um, the the existence of these measures and that this happens. Uh, we have uh, that the eigen vol is the exponential of the Gurevich pressure. So in, in this case, we try to approach for the case of the renew shift for uh, uh, pressure, which could be evaluated in the whole system. So this is uh, the, the partition function, and this is the pressure at the point. This is based in, in the Denker and Yuri work, Yuri's work. And we prove this, uh, this pressures coincide for every X in XA when F is bounded by above and 
uh, you can be written as two functions on the the nature of numbers, like in, in this way. So finally, uh, okay, this is the actually what happens here. We are able to use a result from them adapts to this XA and grant that for the renewal shift, you have uh, always uh, an eigenmeasure for the, the who, else, who else information, which is the, the eigenvalue is the exponential for the pressure. And in the end, we have this last result, which uh, for the renewal shift case, we have the, the for this potential, it's non-trivial. Uh, it's, it's not a constant potential here. But and you have uh, for every beta you have a unique eigenmeasure, and this is the eigenvol. And more than that, um, uh, the critical vol here is also completely determin determined. And the, this is a type of a phase transition when you have uh, you don't have the absence or existence, but you have the same the, a measure which you uh, usually uh, were living uh, was living in a. In sigma a is changed set after a critical vol. So this is what we call length type uh, phase transition. You have from infinite infinite uh, words to finite words. This transition set. This is the length length type. And in the end, uh, the, the thing here is uh, we have a critical vol. This is what we had uh, previously in the theory without considering x a. So we have uh, the existence of these eigenmeasures here uh, until the critical point. But when we introduce this new setting, we have, as I told you, all is the existence, all the time the existence with difference the set where they are living. More than that, uh, the pressure for beta create, uh, uh, for, uh, from beta, the critical value of beta and for greater values is always zero. So this, at the same time, is an eigenvalue. Uh, it, it, these are KMS states. For, uh, the difference here is just we have to be careful that the dynamics just, uh, when you write the dynamics, you just put a sign of minus in the exponent of the, um, of the, the there's a minus uh, beta CF. So it, it changes that for beta CF when CF is equal cycle. And you see example here that uh, at the same time, you, you can see the classical measures and the, we could say the quantum measures of, the, the, of this model. And these are the main references here. Uh, th this this uh, presentation is based in this work and more references about what I was talking about. And Thank you for, for, for watching me and I'm ready for the questions. <laughs>